So you've heard about green stuff, but what the heck is blue stuff? Well, let me show you. And on the way, uh, we might be able to create some sweet bases for an Adeptus Mechanicus kill team. So I have some bases for my Adeptus Mechanicus kill team, and I thought, hey, you know what? I could use this circuit board that I've got lying around, which I previously ripped out of a washing machine. I decided not to use the circuit board directly, because uh, I decided that I wanted to maybe reuse it for other projects and I wanted to paint the bases, which would obscure the fine detail of the circuit board anyway. So, uh, the best option was to make a mold, and I figured blue stuff would be the quickest and easiest option. So, as you can see, I did spend some time deciding which parts of the circuit board I wanted to copy, and I just placed bases over the top of them for my own reference. Uh, this is blue stuff, this is how it comes, uh, in these plastic ingot shapes. It's uh, thermoplastic, which means you heat it up and it gets softer, then it hardens up again as it cools down. It's kind of translucent, uh, and it has a tough, rubbery texture. Now, uh, people who use this stuff say you should cut it into chunks to heat it up faster, but as you can see, it is extremely resistant to cutting. Extremely. EXTREMELY. Um, I cut it up anyway, and I'm sticking it into my freshly boiled water, then kind of pushing it under with some tweezers. Once they hit the heat, uh, they get tacky pretty much right away. Uh, they're sticking to the tweezers, each other, even the porcelain bowl that I'm holding the water in. So grabbing this lump out of the water, you can see it's really soft now. I can just mold it with my fingers, uh, and that's after only about a minute in the water bath. It's starting to harden up pretty quickly though, so I'm just going to stick it down onto the circuit board in the desired location, making sure to press it firmly to get all of those details. The thermoplastic's hardening up really quickly. Uh, I probably didn't soak it in the bath for long enough, so it's starting to cool down very quickly. So let's see what happens if I chuck a hole and get in. I don't know if they're uh, cold ingots by the way, I just kind of thought that sounded cool. Anyway, uh, so I've left it in for about a minute again. It's nowhere near as soft as the last batch, but uh, so I'm just going to tear it into pieces and uh, put it back in. It might be that my water's cooled down a little bit, but uh, at least tearing it up is easier than cutting it into chunks. It doesn't take long for the blue stuff to cool down, especially in quantities this small. It still feels rubbery, um, but that's pretty much a constant with this stuff. Let's check out how the first mold went. I managed to get a huge amount of detail with that. Uh, you can see lines and things that are just printed on the board, uh, so I'm pretty happy with that attempt. The only thing that bothers me is the seam line. There is a line where I was folding the little bits of plastic together after removing it from the water bath. Um, I'll probably redo this one and see if I can get it a bit smoother. I refined my technique a little bit here to get a smoother result. First I got a soft bit of blue stuff and got it to about the right size and shape for the part that I wanted to copy. Then I let it sit in the water bath again until it was reheated. Uh, then I pressed it down onto the circuit board to get all of those juicy little details. As you can see, going from roughest to most refined here, I have a lot of options to play with for my bases, and uh, I'm really happy with all of this actually. I wasn't sure how good it would be, but the blue stuff proved really good at retaining detail from the circuit board. So moving on, uh, I've got some epoxy sculpt here and some green stuff, which I'm sure that you recognise. There are other videos about this kind of mixture, um, I'll put a link in the description below, so check those out. So I've got my bases ready and my sculpting medium. Um, I'm just going to grab some Vaseline and stick it on the blue stuff because I don't know how well uh, the mixture of green stuff and epoxy sculpt is actually going to adhere to this and I don't really want it to adhere to the blue stuff, obviously, but it's pretty simple. All I'm doing here is smoothing the green-grey stuff onto the blue stuff uh, and then smooshing it in to try and get as much detail as possible. Um, it's kind of translucent, this blue stuff, so you can check the other side to see if you're getting all of the details correctly and uh, fix it up where you need to. And then I'm just 
mashing the bases into the green-gray stuff and uh, hoping that they're going to adhere better than the blue stuff, really. I tried to make the layer as thin as possible on top of the bases because obviously uh, all I really wanted was the texture. I don't really want any extra height on them. I also figured that uh, it would be best to trim off any excess that I could now um, because if I keep it on there then it's just going to create a lot of work for me when this hardens up. Um, because I used epoxy sculpt I still can machine this, I can sand it, uh, it's not like using straight green stuff, but yeah I don't want to do too much of that. So let's try and keep it nice and neat around the base here because we don't want to uh, accidentally chip into the detail that we're trying to get on top of the base. So you can see here I've got a nice little round bit of hardening green grey stuff. This is the most exciting part of any project, especially for an impatient person like me, uh, the demolding part. Uh, so yeah, that's just wow. That is a lot of detail right there. I mean, the edges are a bit rough, uh, but you can see lines, you can see circuits, you can see the little bumps and, uh, and little soldering bits on there. That is gorgeous. Let's crack open another one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this one. This one has a little chip um, in the middle there. Let's have a quick look at that. So um, I'll just bring it up to the camera here. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to get some paint on that. That is going to look amazing. Okay, so these are the finished products. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how they've come out. They're definitely table ready at least. Um, I tried to give them a darker side and a lighter side just to pump up that, um, that drama when I've got the minis on there. It doesn't look exactly like circuit board, but that's okay because I, I'm not looking for an exact replica of circuit board here. I want something that looks dramatic. And because I'm going kind of um, thematic anyway, I kind of used an old black spray paint for the shutters. So I've got a nice pixelated effect here. Anyway, these are my bases, I uh, hope you like them, and I hope you learned a little bit about blue stuff on the way. So if you found that interesting, or if you've got any comments about using blue stuff, any tips and tricks that you could share with us, put it in the comments below. I don't know, like, like and subscribe, I guess? Uh, I mean, if you want to, it's not like a thing that you have to do. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and uh... Maybe I'll see you again.